All right, so we're gonna we have a test this Friday, so we're gonna start reviewing for it. For today, I want us to go back to how we started the unit, and we were looking at how to find ratios, and ratio was how to find a fraction. Now, later on in the unit, I gave you guys a little acronym. I gave you guys SOKATOA. And then I came in and I said, what that means is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now, looking at question number nine, but nine through 12 says, find the value of each trigonometric ratio. So it has to be either sine, cosine, or tangent, or it has to be a fraction. So here, it says cosine of z. So at the corner z, that's where I'm going to write my theta. Let me label my sides. I know the biggest side is the hypotenuse, which is always the one far away from the 90 degrees, the one opposite from the 90 degrees. We're going to call that hypotenuse. Keep in mind I said opposite, it's the far away. Now from theta, I have the theta corner z. From theta, I'm going to say 40 is the opposite because it's the one that is far away. And 30 is the adjacent. So I label my three sides as hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. Now for cosine, I remember from SOKATOA, Ka says that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm just going to go 30 over 50. Simplify the fraction if you can. In this case, I'm going to divide top and bottom. I'm divided by, by 10. So my answer gives me, it gives me thir 3 over 4. The way you're going to type that is 3 backslash 5. All right, let's take a look at question number 10. I'm going to label my three sides. The biggest side is the hypotenuse. I'm going to put my theta at corner z because I'm asking you guys for tangent of z. So I put my theta there. From theta, 20 is the opposite, that's the far away, and 21 is the adjacent. I'm looking at tangent. I know tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I'm just going to go 20 over 21. The way I type that is 20 backslash 21. I cannot simplify anymore. Now let's take a look at tangent of, tangent of x in question number 11. I know the biggest side is hypotenuse. Now my theta, I'm going to put it at corner x. So there's my theta. So I'm going to say 40 is the opposite and 9 is the adjacent. So tangent, I have to go opposite over adjacent. So I'm just going to go 40 over 9. It's okay for my fraction to be improper. What I mean with that is the big number to be on top. It's fine for the fraction to be improper. Do simplify if you can. In this case, I cannot. So my answer is 40 over 9. The way I'm going to type that is 40 backslash 9. Lastly, let's take a look at number 12. I'm going to label my three sides. My biggest side is the hypotenuse. My theta, in this case, is going to be at corner x. So from theta, 40 is the opposite, 30 is the adjacent. I'm looking at sine, and I know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm just going to go 40 over 50, better known as 4. Do simplify your fraction. The way I'm going to type that is 4 actually.